let's start out with the question, what is an information system? That's kind of like, well, why are we here? What does it mean? Um, let me throw it to you guys. What is an information system? When you guys think, you know, you're taking this class, Management of Information Systems, or actually it's just called Management Information Systems. So you go home at night and your roommate or your parents or whoever kind of say, well, what does that mean? Management, inf what, are you, what are you guys learning about? So I want you to have an answer to that. All right. The way I like to teach it is this way. A management, or excuse me, an information system. We'll take, throw the term management out for now. Just an information system is made up of five components. And we're going to cover all five of these in this class in different ways. So by the time that the if inner term is over, not only will you know the five components, but you should be able to tell me things about these five components. Okay? Good question on a final, by the way. The five components. The first one is hardware. All right, so let's just take a quick breath. And what do you guys think of when I say hardware when it relates to information systems? What am I talking about? The actual computers, right? The physical monitors, uh, keyboards, the CPUs, right? The, the actual boxes, computing devices. It could also mean in today's world, mobile phones, right? Maybe you could even stretch it to include iPods, things like that. Anything with a chip in it, right? Cars, some fancy refrigerators. Um, okay, so one is hardware. Second is software. Okay, and you kind of notice those are two things we're going to be covering today, hardware and software. So an information system is made up of hardware, software. What is software? It's easy to give examples, so we'll start with that. Give me an example of software. Excel. Windows 7. Photoshop. Software, right? What is software then? What are those things? They're programs, but I don't let people get away with that as an answer, okay? Because programs and software, eh, come on, they're really, you're talking about the same thing. They are programs, and they're created via programming. But before we go into that, what do we mean by the term software? No, I want to know what is it. If somebody came to you and said, what is this? You know, like they have a package of, of Microsoft Word, or they had the disk. Um, what does this do? A good answer. Manipulates hardware to bring about an end result. My answer in, in simpler terms is it tells the hardware what to do. Okay? Software tells the hardware what to do. Now, we can break down software, and we'll do that later today, um, into categories like operating systems and applications and utilities. There's different categories of software. But for now, you're looking at these five components. So hardware, physical devices, software. Tells the, tells the computer or the hardware what to do. The next one is data. And data, you know, is it's different ways to define it, but I would say data is the pieces of information that are manipulated by the software. That's one way to look at it, at least. You guys, when we think of data, we think of databases, right? If you think about... Um, the data that Biola has on you. What is data? Well, it's the information about you that Biola would have. It has your name, it has your social security number, your student ID, it has your uh, classes you've taken, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But data can also be things like, in iTunes, what's the data that's being manipulated? Yeah, the media files, MP3s, the movies, the TV shows, whatever you're playing through it. So the software would be iTunes, but the data would be the actual music, or the information about the music, right? Like the title and so on. That's all data. So hardware, software, data. And a lot of people, they get to that point, point, they're kind of like, all right, we've pretty much covered it. But I say there's two more. Okay, so information systems is more than just the computer. We've talked about everything related to the computer. And by the way, I throw networking into kind of the hardware and software side. You could add networking to that. But there's really two more components. The first one is people. Information systems goes beyond the computing devices, and it's the people that are involved. It's the users, which is you guys. It's the programmers. It's the analysts. It's the IT department. It's all the people involved. They're all part of making it happen. So in this class, we're going to talk to someone from the IT department. Anthony Valentino manages the help desk um, and several other areas. He's going to come and, and lead class one day. 
And he's going to introduce us to kind of who works in IT and what they do. And then he's going to give us a tour of the IT department at Biola. The last and fifth thing is process. What is process? Or what is a process? Let's make that easy. What is a process? And you can't say a procedure. So I've gone through this enough. I know the easy answers. Yeah. Okay, good. An order of steps. It's how you do something. A process is the set of steps that you t undertake to accomplish a goal. So for instance, let's see. How about um, getting to school in the morning? You have a set of steps you might take. You have to get up, you know, I don't know, brush your teeth, eat breakfast. Um, you might walk to your class or you might get in a car and start it. You don't usually write that down, okay? But in businesses, processes are a big deal. Business processes are a huge deal. We're actually going to spend a whole day talking about business processes and how they're managed, how they're redesigned, and their importance to business. And businesses will spend millions of dollars documenting what they do, drawing flow charts, writing up procedures, and then figuring out how to make it better. Because if you can improve a process just by a tiny bit, you might save yourself millions of dollars if you're a big enough company. So that's really what I want you to think about. When I, someone says information systems, what is it? Well, it's hardware, software, data, that's the computers, and people and process. And for those who want to be successful in information systems as a career, you have to be able to master all five. A lot of people think, you know, those people who work in IT, they're good with computers, but that's it. Well, yeah, you can, you can do that. You can be good with computers, and, and usually that means you're going to end up being a programmer or you're going to end up, you know, being an administrator. But the ones that are truly successful, the ones that will go far, are the ones that also can master business processes and people skills. And I always encourage people, you know, if you're a business major and you're looking for, you know, a really good job path, a really good careers, to consider information systems. If you look at the classes that, that, I, that you have to take, some of you already chose an emphasis, I know, but if you haven't, you look at the classes you have to take, yeah, there's some that require you to be good at computers, like building a computer. The class called IT Hardware and Software, you build a computer. And let me tell you, everybody in there has a blast. It's a fun class. Um, but you also have to do classes like systems analysis, where you have to interview people to figure out how they do things so you can build a computer system to do it better. Or project management, where you have to figure out how to get a team of people to get something accomplished that maybe has something to do with technology, but it's just about managing people, expectations, writing status reports, creating project plans. All of that is the successful IT person. So those are the five components of an information system.